Right. Now, sometimes we want to find the angle between two vectors, then we have to use this idea that the cos of the angle will be a dot b divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b, where a vector a is x1, y1, z1, and vector b is x2, y2, z2. And this idea of a dot b, this is called the scalar product, is x1 times x2, these two multiplied together, plus y1 times y2, these two multiplied together, plus z1 times z2, these two multiplied together. Now, if we look at this, okay, so this is the vector in three dimensions, but it works in two as well. The angle between these two vectors, and the angle that must be going, these must be going out, will be this angle here, theta. Okay, this vector is vector A, and this is vector B. Now, this vector here is B minus A, because if you go AB, you're going against A, so it's minus A plus B, okay, which is minus A plus B, which we normally write as B minus A. Okay, this applet I will put in the um, notes of the video afterwards. You can move it around a little bit, but the labels won't go with it, but you can move it around a little bit or watch it in 3D. It's got 3D glasses. Okay. So there's, there's, my, there's my diagram again in here. Okay, so OA is equal to AX1, Y1, Z1. And OB is BX2, Y2, Z2. By the way, the proof is not required for standard level or high level, but it's good to know where it comes from. So, vector AB, vector A to B is the same as going AO plus OB which in our case is going to be minus A plus B, which is normally written as B minus A. So B minus A is going to be minus this one, X1, Y1, y, Z1, plus B, which is X2, Y2, Z2. That will come down to X2 minus X1, X2 minus X1, Y2 minus Y1, and Z2 minus Z1. Just a word of warning about writing Z, I normally put a line through my Zs in order not to confuse it with A2. Right, if we use the cosine rule, so if we know two sides and the included angle, so the cos of C will be A plus B minus this one, it's always minus this one, over 2AB. Now A and B are lengths, so in vector terms that's going to be the magnitude of a squared, okay, because the length of a vector is magnitude, plus the magnitude of vector b squared minus the magnitude of vector c squared divided by 2 times the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. But c in our case is b minus a, so this will cos theta, that's the angle we're trying to find, will be the magnitude of a squared plus the magnitude of b squared minus the magnitude of b minus a all squared over 2 times the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. Now it starts to get a little bit messy. The magnitude squared of A will be X1 squared plus Y1 squared plus Z1 squared. The magnitude, okay, this is how we find the magnitude, and we just want it squared, so we'll leave out the square root sign. Plus the magnitude of B will be X2 squared plus Y2 squared plus Z2 squared minus the magnitude of B minus A, so it's X2 minus X1 squared, remember we calculated this earlier, Y2 minus Y1 squared, Z2 minus Z1. Squared, we're missing a little squared sign there. Okay, carrying on, that's going to be 2 times the magnitude of A, which is the square root of x1 squared plus y1 squared plus z1 squared times the magnitude of b, which is x2 squared plus y2 squared plus z2 squared. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to keep the first two things the same, and then we're going to expand x minus, uh, x2 minus x1 squared, which is x2 minus 2x1 x2 plus x1 squared, and to that we use this idea a minus b squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, plus two, uh, y2 minus y1 squared is y2 squared minus 2y1 y2 plus y1 squared plus z2 
2 minus z1 squared, which is z2 squared minus 2z1, z2 plus z1 squared, over 2 times the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B, which are those. Right, now taking that minus sign into the brackets. So we're going to be very careful here. Minus x2 all squared plus 2x1 x2 minus x1 squared minus uh, y2 squared plus 2y1 y2 minus y2 squared minus z2 squared plus 2z1 z2 minus z1 squared over 2 times the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. If you're not sure, just pause the video here and check. Look, minus minus gives you a plus. Now, look, lots of things now actually cancel out. If you look at here and here, these cancel out. So when you cancel, you cancel one that way and one that way. So Y1 will cancel out. Z1 will cancel out. Z1 squares will cancel out. X2 squares will cancel out. The Y2 squares will cancel out and the z2 squared will cancel out. Okay, so we're now left with 2x1, x2, plus 2y1, sorry, y1, y2, we're taking the 2 out of the common factor, and the 2, z1, z2, the 2 come out, so we get plus z1, z2, over 2 times the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. The 2s will cancel out, and we're left with x1, x2, plus y1, y2, plus z1, z2, over the square root of x2 plus y2, x1 squared plus y1 squared plus z1 squared over the, times the square root of x2 squared plus y2 squared plus z2 squared. Now, this is known here, this bit here, the top bit, the numerator is known as a dot b. This is known as the dot product, the scalar product. This we know is the magnitude of A, and this is the magnitude of B. So hence, cos theta is equal to A dot B over the magnitude of A, the magnitude of B. This is what we were asked to prove. The scalar product, can be, this could be rewritten as A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cos of the angle between them, where the Scalar product is also written as x1 times x2, y2, y1 times y2, plus z1 times z2. Now, the same also works in 2D, just a little bit more simpler. We've got a is x1, y1, and b is x2, y2. The a dot b will be x1 plus x1, x2, plus y1, y2. And note in both 2D and 3D that the vectors have to be going out of each other to find the angle or they can be going into each other to find the angle but if you've got this situation where one goes in and the other goes out you need to continue the line of the first one because that's what gives you the angle you just need to be aware of those facts okay so it's been quite a long video um, but thank you very much for watching this has been a, vector, uh, a video to show you the proof of what's known as the scalar product and finding the angle between two vectors. Thank you very much.